Pedro Almodovar has always been a distinctive director, unafraid to explore sexual themes and other mature elements for which he is renowned. His melodramatic films break new ground by focusing on strong women, transgender individuals, and other underrepresented groups. As an auteur, he consistently demonstrates his innovative filmmaking prowess, captivating audiences for over 40 years while fearlessly giving voice to marginalized perspectives. Pedro was born on September 25, 1949, in Calzada de Cotrava, Spain. As a young man, he moved to Madrid intending to enroll in film school. However, he did not attend for two reasons. He couldn't afford it, and Madrid's film school was closed in the 1970s by Francisco Franco's regime. This prompted Almodovar to purchase a Super 8 camera and begin making his own short films. Rather than waiting for opportunities to come to him, he decided to create his own films and learn as he went. To support himself and his filmmaking pursuits, he worked numerous odd jobs to make ends meet. At one point, he became an administrative assistant with the Spanish phone company Telefonica, where he worked for 12 years. Eventually, he made his first full-length feature called Pepe, Lucy, Boom, and Other Girls Like Mom. It's a humorous film that focuses on the punk rock culture in Madrid during the years following Francisco Franco's death. Despite being a comedy, it also addressed themes of rape, retaliation, and corruption. The film mostly received negative reviews, but some critics considered it an art house film reminiscent of John Waters' Pink Flamingos. Of your political beliefs. Kill everyone now! Condone first degree murder! Advocate cannibalism! Eat shit! Come on, these frutas. He eventually collaborated with Antonio Banderas for the first time in the screwball comedy Labyrinth of Passion. Banderas had a small role, marking his film debut. Two films later, they collaborated again in the 1986 film Matador, a Spanish erotic thriller about a student bullfighter who confesses to murders he did not commit. Banderas also starred in Pedro's film Law of Desire. When he made the film, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, he received global recognition and the film was Oscar nominated for Best Foreign Language Film. The film starred Antonio Banderas and Carmen Mara, making Mara a well-known actress in Spain. The director also said that women make great characters because they are spectacular as dramatic subjects. Almodovar began the decade by releasing his 1990 film, Tie Me Up, Tie Me Down. This film also stars Antonio Banderas as a mentally ill man who kidnaps a woman, who later falls in love with him. Si puedes, deja de pensar por un momento en ti misma. Y piensa un poquito en los demás, ¿no crees? Around 1997, he collaborated with the actors Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz for the first time and released Live Flesh, based on the Ruth Rendell novel, which focuses on the aftermath of an accidental gunshot. It was also the director's first time adapting a novel. Alma Devar received global praise again when he ended 1999 with this film, All About My Mother. The story focuses on a woman's quest to find her newly departed son's transgender mother. The film won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, and Pedro Alma Devar won the award for Best Director at the Cannes Film Festival. You know, in that country, now is six years in the morning. So, let me dedicate this to the Spanish people that are watching TV now. Pedro Almodovar continued to be a familiar presence at the Academy Awards as his 2002 film, Talk to Her, was praised by both audiences and critics. The film concerns two men, played by Javier Camara and Dario Grandinetti, who befriend each other while they look after two comatose women. Even though he lost the Oscar for Best Director, he won the category for Best Original Screenplay. <laughs> Two years later, he made the film Bad Education, which focuses on sexual abuse that occurs within the Roman Catholic Church. The film also addresses transsexuality and drug use. Another two years later, he released the family comedy drama Vulver. Penelope Cruz plays a mother who protects her daughter from a murder she committed. Along the way, she encounters her mother, whom she believed had died. 
He decided to close out the 2000s by directing his 2009 film noir, Broken Embraces, which also reunites him with Penelope Cruz. For the first time in several years, Almodovar collaborated with Banderas for the psychological thriller The Skin I Live In. Banderas plays a plastic surgeon who performs experiments on a man he holds captive, resulting in the transformation of the man into a woman through surgery. In 2013, Pedro Almodovar shifted from a serious project to a comedic one called I'm So Excited. It's a light comedy set on an airplane. He returned to drama and the genre of cinema of women with Julieta, a story involving an estranged mother and daughter. The auteur director based his movie on three short stories written by Alice Munro. Antonio Banderas, Penelope Cruz, and Alma Devar reunited once again for Pain and Glory, a story that focused on a director reflecting on his life. Penelope Cruz and Alma Devar received praise for the 2021 film Parallel Mothers, which tells the story of two single women who coincidentally gave birth on the same day. Penelope received an Oscar nomination for her performance. Pedro Almodovar has been a filmmaker who has never been afraid to experiment with stories focused on transgender and gay individuals, mothers, daughters, murders, and drug addicts. Almodovar always finds ways to tell unique stories through unique characters. He will never be forgotten by Spain and the rest of the world as one of cinema's most daring auteur filmmakers who empowers women and transgender characters.